Hello and welcome to the 43rd tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at how to make your application go full screen. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Okay, so to make your application go full screen is extremely easy. You just need to modify one single line. Let's go ahead and open up our project and show you which line. You may already know if you watched the previous tutorial. And it's the first one. Oh, one of the first ones right here where you create your render window and what you just do is comma and then you apply a style to it SF style colon colon full screen and now if we run our application it has now gone full screen but you may think there is no way of shutting it down and that's because there isn't at least not explicitly, I'm going to have to force close it by launching Task Manager. And obviously we don't want that at all. So what we're going to do is allow the user to switch between full screen and not full screen. And the way we're going to do that is by allowing them to click the Enter key. Okay, so first of all what we're going to do is create a Boolean variable. So bool this will just keep track of whether this game is full screen. By default it is true. Basically just match it along with the style that you've applied and we've applied full screen. And now we need to detect when the enter key has been pressed. So if we just go down here, we'll just add a new case. So case SF event. These were covered earlier on in this series. And we'll see when a key has been released. Now we're going to do a switch case in here, and this will pick up what key has been released, key.code, and the one that we want to pick up is case SF keyboard, and in here we're just going to put colon colon return, I'm going to put break. There needs to be a colon here, and that error should disappear now. Okay, that is A. Okay, we can now check which mode screen is in and switch accordingly. So within here, let's just put this back a bit. Uh, we're going to do if true double equals is full screen. You may not have seen. Uh, it written this way when you're comparing a variable to let's say just a number or some sort of value like true or false that can't be changed this is called a Yoda condition it's something that I would say look into and if, if you like the concept of it which I think is really really cool then well start using it true is equal full screen window dot create I'm gonna do SF video mode 600 by 600. I'm going to put SFML work. Basically, we're just replicating what we got up here. We're going to do SF style default else. That is one thing I've missed from here. I need to switch the um, full screen variable. So, is full screen equals false and all I need to do is copy and paste this from here I mean copy from there paste it into here change this true and just change this style to full screen so let's just run our application okay so if I click enter mm, you close down the application. I don't know why, because it's gone down to the next case. I need to put a break here. My bad, I'll put a break within this case, but not the other one. Okay, so let's click enter. Changes mode, click enter again, and it changes mode, click enter again. You may notice a log in the console is saying the requested video mode is not available, switching to a valid mode. This is only happening when you go to full screen so that's the reason it hasn't been happening in the previous tutorials 
And this happens because the resolution that I have set, which is 600 by 600 for our application, isn't valid for the monitor and generally won't be valid for most monitors as when you're going full screen. When you're in windowed mode, you can use a non-valid resolution. I know a valid resolution for this monitor and a lot of monitors is 640 by 480. So if I were to just change this to 640, by 480, 640 by 480. Obviously, you probably want to have this as some sort of hash defined, maybe loaded from a file. Uh, let's run our application. There we go. Click enter, click enter again, click enter again. And if we go into our console, we have zero logs. And that's because 640 by 480 is a valid resolution. A lot of for you. Print out a list of the valid video modes. Uh, you will most likely need to search this online to help, but doing this will help you advance and enhance your SFML skill set. If you look at the SFML forums and their resources on sfml-dev.org, you should be able to figure out how to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at solarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at how to hide your mouse. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.